Suppose we have a function that creates this line. Let's call it f of t. It's just a random function with a random variable called t that creates this line, that creates this graph. All right. Now let's suppose we want to find the area under the graph in between these two intervals. Let's call this bottom interval a and this top interval x. So of course this would create an integral and that integral would be the integral from a, our bottom, to x, our top, of the function f of t times dt. All right, so how do we relate this to differentiation? Well, let's try to find how this area changes as we change x a little bit. So if we give x a very, very tiny nudge, a very, very tiny nudge. Let's call this point x plus h. And h is just very, very small, goes to zero. And we want to find how much that changes. So let's write that out right here. So that would be, let me copy this and paste. And there we go. So we want to find the derivative, the d over dx of this integral, of this area rather. We want to find how this area changes as we change it just by a little bit, as we change this x just by a little bit. What would that equal to? Hmm. So let's think. If you add x by a little bit, how would that change the area? How would that make the area different? Well, it would just equal your original function because if you add x to h it will become a new point on this f of t curve it would become this point right here whoops this point right here how much is that adding to the area and how much how much is that changing the area well it's changing the area exactly how much that function is because think about it you're adding this rectangle this very small rectangle where Wait, well, let me make it bigger right here so you guys can see it. So that rectangle has width h and height of f of t. So when you add this rectangle, how does that change the area? Well, it just adds the area of this rectangle. This rectangle will be equal to only f of t because h will be so, 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 so small that it will not be reasonable. This rectangle actually just looks like this, like a straight line. So it will actually equal the value of f of t at this location. So it will change the area by exactly f of t. So then now we conclude that the differ that the derivative of the area will be exactly f of x. And that's the fundamental theorem of calculus.